Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. It is Sunday night, and that means we are live. That's right, live and in effect. That's right, that's how we roll. That's how you roll. We all roll this way. Exactly right. Le Petit Silver is here. Silver Wolverine was first just by the edge. Let me see. Let me make sure. Let me see here. We need to see who's first. Yes, technically Silver Wolverine just beat uh, Le Petit Silver by a hair. Donald in New Mexico was not a distant third. He was a close third, but third nonetheless. Good to see you all. Stacking Krakens. Old Man Jenkins. Silver Sacks. It is a Sunday night. Six o'clock Eastern Time. You know what that means. The markets are getting ready to open up. And they will open up very soon. We're going to check out what they're doing. We've got them all ready to go. Captain Ron Howard here. Yes, indeed. Captain Ron thinks that I hate silver for some reason. I don't understand. Uh, but yes, good to see you guys. Hello, Dove Season. Good to see you. All right. Christian Black's Melissa, uh, Black um, MTR Riz, Riz. Good to see you. Juan Ortiz, a lot of good folks, some newer folks popping in, some folks who haven't been here in a while. Always glad to have you all here. Very, very good. Hello, Jamie Fox. Good to see you. And JD is present, too. Mm. Uh, so we have the introductions out of the way here. Let's go through um, some comments. This market is going to open up here. We're going to see what happens when it does. But in the meantime, let's grab a comment from the comment chain. And do that real quick, and then we'll come back to the markets and see what they're doing out of the starting gate, shall we? Very, very good. Just so you know, folks, I probably won't be here next Sunday for the Market Watch. First time in quite a long time where I'm not going to be here, probably. Uh, not sure. There's a lot of stuff going on, but I'll let you know for sure. So, yes, indeed. Just a little announcement there to keep your eye on. All right. So Gene Pullman says here on the a full audit of America's gold reserves says, I'd be willing to bet that the great gold grab is looming. We have printed so much money that the dollar will become worthless. When it happens, our country will have no choice but to recall all precious metals from the private sectors in order to remake our financial system or fold into third world country. Well, our goal really in the end is our wealth. So they're not going to get rid of it, but they'll use it. They'll utilize it for sure. Uh, we shall see. All right. Is everybody out there? Let's see if Spectacular can hear you. Hello, Sped. Good to see you. And hello, Andre Estep. Good to see you. And John Bidocha says, cashed in my grandson's coin stash and bought his first 20 buffaloes. He's eight years old. Very good. Nicely done. All right. And who else is here? We've got uh, Ninja Stacking. Hello, Ninja Stacking. Long time no see. Good to see you. Black Sheep Stackers here. A great end to the... Uh, great end to the... Uh, Long weekend here. Yes, indeed. Silver Wolverine. Yes, no vacation. No vacation for me. But I probably won't be... Um, probably won't be here next Sunday night in time. Depending on what's going on, we'll see here. But yes, indeed. All right, good to see you all. Mm. Now, let's see what we've got here. Um, U.S. Frame says, I think Inefficient Stacker cornered the market. He did it pretty efficiently, though, right? All right, very good. This is on the the coin, the best value fractional gold. Thank you. Champion Star says more like uh, have the fool hunting and gold holdings like at forty two dollars be institutionalized for mental insanity. Yes, it's crazy. That's the book value, is it not? That's right. All right, let's see what the markets are doing now. Look at where the prices are before I refresh this puppy because it is, it is definitely after six. But look where they're at. Everything was up on Friday. So let's see where they're at now. 1811 and 1943. 1811 for gold, 1943. Let's refresh. And where are they? Boom. Down a little bit, guys. Down slightly. Gold down two cents, but still 1941. And gold is down $1.50. Both metals are down by the same exact percentage point. Crazy. Lendy, good to see you. All right. Very, very good to see you. And. CCT is here. Hello. Uh, not going to be here. Do you have extreme tag practice? Yes, indeed. Extreme tag. Tag, you're it. Exactly right. Yes, indeed. For something fun, I hope. No, yeah. Just sometimes, sometimes a regular life schedule uh, interrupts from time to time. I do try to prioritize YouTube stuff. But once in a while, some things come up. And uh, 
They have to take precedent with life. You know what I'm saying? All right, very good. All right. JD is slurping with me tonight. All right, great cup of joe. Let's have a slurp in honor of JD here. All right. And Graham Diamond is here. Good to see you, Graham. Welcome. All right, very, very good. Yes, indeed. All right. Mr. DeSoto is here. Good to see all you guys. AG47 Surfer, all y'all. Welcome, everybody. Uh, no, I did not see the Trump Chris Wallace interview. Um, I had I was out to have been a pretty busy day for me too, so I didn't miss that. But I want to see it for sure. America Silver Patriot is here. Good to see you, brother. Hope you're doing well. And Gold Maple is here. Good to see Gold Maple too. You for man. So there's where the markets are. We'll come back to those. You can see they're down just slightly. Speaking of Graham Diamond, who is in here with us right now. Uh, he says, lovely gold coin, Sal. I have one of the large 50 pesos, 37.5 grams in my collection. Yes, very cool. Yes, those are neat. And I think uh, CCT has one of those as well. And you will see those probably featured in a video in the, in the far future. Not far, but medium future on my channel. That's yes, indeed. All right, very good. Uh, yes, spectacular. Need another online dealer interview. Where can we get one? Yeah, I did those quite a while ago. And... Um, I have not really, I've reached out to some of them, but I uh, have not heard anything back. I think a lot of the dealers are just so busy trying to fulfill orders and get product out the door. They probably don't feel the need to kind of, you know, market much to the community um, or to interview. But it'd be nice if they did. I know that, um, uh, I guess, during the midst of all of this stuff in April, I think I interviewed Monument Metals. And then a, uh, a broker, too. But, yes, it'd be nice to get them back on there. Okay, so Wolverine, I'll check it out. Definitely. Thank you. All right. Hello, Ozzy Alchemist. Good to see you. All right. Audrey Estep, I posted a, a review of the uh, of the Mint ID chip on my channel. If you get a chance to check it out. It's been a little while, but, yes, I did a review of it and showcased it and talked about that. If you're interested in seeing what it looks like in hand. Veronica Stacks, good to see Veronica. All right. Chuck Plata says, a multitude of gratitude. Sounds south of the border. I like that. Many pesos I have, but they are not gold. Yes. I hear you, Chuck. Very good. And why uh, gold could explode in days. Filipina eye, tiger eye. I'm waiting for it to deflate for a little while. So Mr. Dell will buy me more. There you go. More gold for Miss Filipina, who is a lot younger than uh, Del Rugby. All right, very good. Okay, Krabby Chris, greetings to you, Krabby Chris. Welcome. All right, yes, I got the buffalo too. You have to, I'm, you watch my video on it, Krabby Chris, because there are actually, there is a trick to it. Because um, it doesn't use, it uses a special kind of um, near field ID or something like that to work. All right, let's see here. Uh, when there's chip coins coming. Okay, very good. CCT's got one coming. Very, very good. Hugh Man says, got five of the Cinco Pesos, one Vente Pesos, and a Centenario. Okay, interesting. I've not heard of the Centenar Centenario. Very cool. Lost for words. I can never find the smaller ones. Yes. They also made a one peso, which is actually bigger than a two peso. Very difficult to find. All right, very good to see you guys. All right. I guess I was able to get mine to scan, Audrey, but it took a little while. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see here. All right. Cosmic Karma Koala says, I love Mexican gold coins. I love American and gold coins. I love Sovereign. I love Cuban. I love Spanish. No bland bullion flans. Numismatics only. All right, very good. He loves it all. A multinational gold lover. Yes, indeed. All right. Cactus Jack says, I have two and 2.5 peso coins on the way. Inefficient Stacker turned me on to them. I have to check out Inefficient Stacker. I've never heard of them. And checked out the math and the premiums. Mexican fractional gold rocks. The history behind them is cool. I like that and has a cactus on it too. Haven't been in the LCS, but living in Arizona might them make them fairly common. I like to try to get two or two and a half every month. In addition to my silver stacking. There you go. It's a great way to buy it inexpensively, for sure. All right. Very good. Nice. 
All right, Cactus Jack, it looks like he's got a channel too. I'll have to subscribe to him. Yes, I will subscribe to Cactus Jack. Very nice. Didn't know he had a channel, but that's cool. Nice guy, Cactus Jack. All right, thank you. All right, uh, face mask coverings now compulsory in Victoria. If you need to leave home for essentials, beer, beer flu. All right. Wow, crazy. All right, let's pause. <clears throat> Take a look at what the markets are doing now. Any movement? Yes. Uh, looks like the gold and silver are going down a little bit more. Um, we have gold down two bucks now and silver down three cents, so 0.1 to 6 percent. And the platinum is flat and palladium is actually up a little bit. Very good. Hello, Rick. Rick is here. Good to see you. And Talking Bullion is here. All right. Very good. Welcome. Okay, let's see here. So there's where their numbers are now. They're out just a little bit lower. But, you know, hey, think about it. They've been um, going up. This was the sixth week in a row that they ended higher. So really, in a sense, it's kind of due for some slight pullback. But it's only marginally there. But we'll keep an eye on it tonight. So what we do on our market watches, for sure. Silver Heist, a plethora of fractional pesos. I just went in on RCM Gold Maple Gram, 25 cents. 25 cent. Very cool. All right. Yeah, those um, have a bit of a premium, but hey, that's another way to do it, too. Get some gold maples. If you can find those things uh, cheap, the maple grams. All right. Steve Woods, local auction house is selling a coin collection online. Putting bids in today on several of these today. Auction is over on the 22nd. The timing of your video was very helpful to me. Well, very good. Steve, I hope you can find some of these coins there and get a nice deal. That'd be nice. All right, very good. All right. The Coin Geek on YouTube, way deep inside, was watching. Very good. Hugh Man is here. Good to see you. And Gertrude Perkins says he works in healthcare, um, where where we wear masks routinely during several hour-long surgical operations. That's right. Yes. Yes, indeed. The, uh, the healthcare community, if you wear a mask, you want to see what they go through. They do it. All the time, people in healthcare. Thanks for all you do, Gertrude. Uh, Sal, do you think we should be still be buying at this high price? You think we may be taking a loss in the future? You know, it's tough to say, uh, Audrey. That's a good question because it could always continue to go up, but it may go back down again if there is a vaccine that everybody feels safe taking, and the virus dies down and the economy starts to grow again. Uh, it very well that the prices could come back down. I actually did a video on that quite a while ago in the beginning of this pandemic. And I think it was entitled The Calm After the Storm. Um, and uh, where I talked about that very thing. You know, just like with anything in life, anything you buy that has a uh, price fluctuation and movement, such as a spot price, you buy with the risk of losing out, of it going down. And gold is nearing all-time highs. So, in a sense, it's got more of a chance of going back down again than silver does. However, silver did take a pretty big nosedive in March. Um, and so, there is that to think about, especially if you're going to sell. At the very beginning of that, you probably would have gotten maybe spot price for your coins. But as, the, as it became apparent with the uh, bottleneck and supplies, um, people were starting to get, you know, obviously, 4 or $5 over spot if they had to sell. But be so glad when this is all over for more reasons than one. This is crazy. And yeah, actually, I, I agree with Christian Black. I don't think there's not going to be a vaccine this year. And it's going to be some probably sometime early next year if there's going to be any at all. We shall see. But we'll see how it goes. Vanessa says, if I can get this stuff, I can usually get it a spot. Well, very nice, especially these days, Vanessa. To find it at spot is very, very good. All right. Donald in New Mexico has said, Hey, Sal, the best value in frac gold is a 50 pesos coin. It has 1.2. That's true. If you fractionalize it above an, uh, an ounce, that's true. A uh, fraction over an ounce. My 50 peso coins have been the best performers of all my gold purchases. They have a nice heft. They sure do, Donald. How many of those do you have, Donald? I'm curious. But that's awesome. Yes, that technically, I guess it would be considered fractional. 
And I guess it's in between uh, regular weights, but yes, indeed. All right, Sterling Cannabis is here. Good to see you. All right. We're missing uh, Terry. We're missing Pudenda. We're missing Barbara. And we're missing, um, yeah, Silver Damsel. And we're missing the girl from um, Kentucky, too. What was her name? She used to frequent the uh, the chats for a while on the live stream. Forgot her name. Dang it. It's on the tip of my tongue. She was a regular there for a while. Anyways, I don't think there's ever going to be over. We are F, but I hope gold stays up. Yes. I think it's probably going to stay fairly high. Uh... I just realized I have a hole in my shorts. I just stuck my finger in the hole in my shorts. That's kind of weird. Let's see here. No Galsamite Silver Heist, but Silver Heist is here. You guys should check out Silver Heist's channel. He did a great video on Gold Eagles and why the 10th ounces are selling at quite a high premium. Check out Silver Heist. Good guy. Great channel. Mm. Oh, yes. Big fan of Silver Heist. And we got Kalonic Stacker here. Patriot Man is here. All right, very good. Silver Honda says, that's one issue I don't like about foreign gold is that you have to figure out the math. However, I think coming, owning even a functional amount of gold would benefit in the long run. That's right. Yes, a little bit of gold is good to diversify. And that's kind of the point of this video. It really didn't get a lot of traction, this video, but um, I'm hoping it would. Uh and is to really kind of tell people, hey, if you're a silver stacker, you want to diversify, you can get you a little bit of gold here. Cyber Curtain Twitcher can put on a wig and jump in the tub if you like. Let's do it. I tell you what, CCT, I like you a lot, but it just would not be the same. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Uh, let's keep your clothes on. Let's let's keep it all above board here. Uh, but uh, yeah, but yeah, let's see here. But. <laughs> hmm. I'll leave that image to someone else. All right, Drew Santana, with, uh, with the price of gold and silver going higher and higher, do you think people will turn to copper as a more affordable option in jewelry? Well, um, I doubt it. There's so many options in jewelry, people will just use, you know, regular silver color jewelry um, and or what have you, or fake gold jewelry or just, you know, or just gold plated jewelry. There's a plenty of that stuff out there. The five and dime jewelry stuff. There's plenty of options. I don't know if they're going to be going to copper. Uh, but yeah, but people who can usually afford to buy, you know, the 18 karat, 14 karat gold jewelry, you know, they're probably not going to be that much more of a, of a price increase because a lot of the premiums in, in jewelry are outside of the spot price. All right, very good. That's true. One more. So uh, Trevor H says, I have half sovereigns, fractional pandas, some French fractional, some Belgian fractional, but none of the coins you featured. All right. Well, yes. Hope you can get some Trevor H. There's a lot of ones that I want to get to from around the world for sure. Donald says, hey, Sal, my first gold coin is a 1911 20 franc Napoleon laurel head. Wow. Also keep it in the original flip in my wallet and in my wallet for many years. I got it back in the 90s and it has been the price has a price of $79 and a flip. I can't believe how much I have in common with a trumpet like you. All right, very good. Nice. Love gold pesos. Very cool, Donald. Very nice. All right. All right. Thank you, Way Deep Inside. I appreciate you subscribing to, uh, to uh, Silver Heist. And Coin Group of Minnesota also has a channel if you guys want to check them out. Coin Group of Minnesota. Check him out, too. Uh, now We Ride says... Gee, I was afraid to lose this little thing, but I can definitely see the possibilities they really do have. Yes, gold is valuable in a little tiny coins. If you can find a way to store them in a little tube or a little baggie, uh, it's good, you know. Um, yes, definitely. But they're worth getting, especially if you get them for close to spot, and especially if you're a silver stacker. Yes, indeed. Yes, there is a chick shortage. We have a chick shortage today. And, oh, CCT has a titanium bracelet. Very good. That's cool. Nice. Ron Paul 2020. Oh, if only. We could use the wisdom of Ron Paul right now. That's for sure. I like Ron Paul. Yes, indeed. 
American Lobby says Zionist bankers want total control of you. Being a slave is not a racial thing anymore. Yes, well, yep. Uh, Gardner Earth Guy says, I used to spend Thanksgiving in Beja Sur camping out on the Sea of Cortez. Mexico has a bunch of Latinas there that can cook seriously great food. Never saw any coins there, but I always in backcountry, but I was always in backcountry areas. Well, very cool that you've been to that part of Mexico. That's awesome. All right, very good. Hello, BB King. Oh, 24 karat gold is good. It sure is. I agree. Light blue. Very good. Mm. Um... Yes, you probably do need a newer phone. Audrey is my guest that has a near field ID or whatever in it. I've got an Android. All right, let's see here. Very good. Okay, where are we at? Uberman's got a platinum ring. I do too. I posted a video unboxing a platinum ring, actually. Nice, about um, uh, 11, 18 grams. I don't think, yeah, 18 grams of it, just over a half ounce platinum ring. Uh, Frank Dodd Act. Better take your cash out of the bank before they fail. The Dodd-Frank Act. Yeah. Let's see here. Okay. Where are we at? Kendall Kid. I want the 50 pesos gold coin, Uncle Sal. Yes, indeed. I hear ya. Oh, man. The V's are coming back. Son of a... Dang it. I don't know what's going on. Why this is happening. Donald, help me. Why are the V's coming back here, Donald? Why are they there? Look at all those V's. And I'm not going to edit that comment to take them out either. Candle Kid's going to have to live with it. He just got to live with that. Bill457, how long ago did you pay $26? I like foreign gold. You get more gold and it's cheaper. I like the foreign silver coins. I like old Mexican coins. Um, Man, I, I wish I knew when I got that darn thing. I think it was in the early 2000s, I think. Uberman got his in the 90s. Donald's got the V's going on. Look at the other V's. I haven't, Donald, why are you putting those V's out there? I haven't had those V's show up on my channel in good grief. 45 seconds, right? Hey, Eric, our resident bouncer is here. Good to see you. All right, I've got the case of the V's. The virus, I know, it's insane in the membrane. Army of Gog. Many bank stocks are with solid uh, balance sheet of giveaway share prices. All right. Let's get back here to... The markets and what they're doing, guys, is that's what it's halfway about is, is the markets. We like to check the markets here. Uh, let's see here. Gold is down 0.07%. So now it's down less. 1810 now is the ask price. Silver's down two cents. 1941. Platinum is down a dollar. So there you go. So just marginal movements down, but not by a whole lot. All these metals are up, especially gold. Crazy where gold is at. I'm waiting for the day for it to come into parity with palladium. Let's have a slurp for Barbara. Maybe she'll show up. Mm. Hey, look at that. Donald extended to me the carrot. Very nice. Don extended me the carrot. Very cool. Look out. V. All right, there you go. Carlos Danger just picked up my first copper penny haul today. Nice. Let's get back to these comments, see what people are saying. Larry Winnington says, thanks for the great tip. Salivate Metal Rock On, your pal, metal fan, Godspeed sincerely. From Larry Winnington. Thank you, Larry. Appreciate you, my friend. Very good. Hi-Ho Silver says, I've been tempted to buy this 20 peso coin many times, but only bought 999999 pure. Nice vid. Yes, I hear you, brother. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool coin. Yeah, the, the purity thing is something some people are purist, literally. They want to do it. Okay, so now we've got Sterling Cannabis in here now. Sterling Cannabis is here. Silver Wolverine thinks fields and metals will be sideways for a while, especially if they lay flat, they're laying sideways. So I agree with that, Silver Wolverine. And we've got Highlander Stack in here. And for Sterling Cannabis, we're going to do, guess what we're going to do, guys? You'll never guess what we're going to do. 17 push-ups for Sterling Cannabis. Here we go. Are you ready? Get this chair on the way. Dang it. Uh, 17. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 
18, 19, 20, 21. All right, there we go. That actually hurt a little. I mean, you know, thoughts about arms. Highlander, thanks for the super chat, my friend. Very kind of you. That's the first super chat of the night. Thank you, sir. Wow. Very cool. All right, press one for Barb. Yeah, where is Barb? Yes, indeed. We got 105 in the house, 47 thumbs up, one thumbs down. Appreciate you guys. Yes, indeed. And if you haven't seen this video yet, um, the gold is the, uh, this coin is the best value in fractional gold. I think you'll find that pretty interesting here. Yes, indeed. So Sterling Cannabis says, I personally love the Mexican gold, more than half of my gold in Mexican due to the lack of premium. Where's your 50 peso coin? Time for bong hit. Yes, indeed. You'll see that in a coming video, coming near or far from you. Mm. Hey, still, Silver Steeler is here. Good to see you, Silver Steeler. Did, I think you posted a video recently that I need to catch up on. Can't stay long. He's at the folks' house. Winning image photography, and I say hello. Smash the like button. Thank you so much, Silver Steeler. Have a great evening. Thank you so much for popping in. Give winning image photography a big hug for me. In front of your parents, okay? You got to do it in front of your parents. Uh, yes, indeed. Or it won't count. And tell her it's from Sal. Big ol' hug from Sal. All right, very good. Let, let's get Sal to 100. There we go. Thanks, Rebel Stacker. Appreciate you guys. 100 thumbs up would be cool. Very good. So let's get back to the market here. What are the markets doing right now? They are hovering slightly down, but not by much. Silver's down one cent now, uh, though marginally, because it's still showing in 1941. It was 1943 at the beginning. All right, very good. Silver Wolverine loves our dead presidents. Yay, though, I must say, Silver Wolverine, Hamilton was not a president on the $10 bill. He's the one I probably like the least of our founding fathers, but yes, indeed. Silver Heist says, your fractional gold video has a thumbnail and a thumbnail. That's right. Yes, if you watch the very end of that video, I make a joke about that, and I said this. So I decided I'm going to use that as the as the uh, as the uh, as the thumbnail. All right, all right. Here it is, Silver Steeler. It is. He's going to do it. He's going to give her a big old hug right in front of the parental units and say, "This is from Uncle Sal." Yes, indeed. We're going to freak out the parent parental units. All right, very good. Colonic Stacker. The U.S. military is the strongest physical and moral force on earth. Yes, indeed. I agree. God bless our men and women in uniform, for sure. Ozzy Alchemist forgot to add $200 fine if caught out with a face covering. Whoa, that's hardcore, Ozzy. That is crazy. Kendall Kid, you are here. Hello, Kendall Kid. Good to see you. You'll have to live with the Vs when I when I responded to your comment. There was a lot of Vs there, Kendall Kid. I do apologize for that, but good to see you. Winning Image Photography is here with us. All right, now, winning, winning image photography. I've got a little, don't tell Silver Steeler, but shh, between you and me, you're at his parents' house. Do me a favor, give him a big old hug. A huge, big hug to Silver Steeler in front of his parents. And tell him it's from, don't tell him it's from me, because I don't want, I don't swing that way, but just tell him it's from you. All right, shh, don't tell Silver Steeler. All right, very good. All right, Silver Wolverine, Andrew Jackson was second best to Trump. You know what? Andrew Jackson, actually, uh, when Trump was elected, I thought to myself, this is our next Andrew Jackson. And even Trump has a picture, hung a picture of Andrew Jackson in the White House close to him. I, I guess, it, where was it? I guess it's in the Oval Office. And uh, so Andrew Jackson was is somewhat of an inspiration to Trump. Yes, indeed. All right. Good group in here today. Yes, Highlander Stacker, we're, Stacker, we're glad you're here. Yes, that was a little awkward, wasn't it, winning image photography? That was a little awkward indeed. All right. Very good. Okay. Press one for Tricky Guy. Yes, Tricky Guy likes the lurk. All right. But he's not a Turk, but he does like the lurk. All right. Very good. All right. Let's see. Let's get back to these comments. But what are happening here? This is what the markets are doing, guys. The markets are essentially just down slightly, which is somewhat understandable. They typically, after a, a pretty big Friday, uh, coming out of the starting gate on uh, Sunday night or Monday morning, they tend to dip a little bit. And we're seeing some slight evidence of that here. Not by a whole lot. And uh, could do go around this. Yes, I don't think you did. I'm just reminding folks out there 
that Alexander Hamilton was not a president, but I don't think you did say he was president. Uh, I was just saying it to remind folks. Light blue. Was it true that the U.S. gold some tungs U.S. sold some tungs into China? I don't. I've not heard that. Uh, but it would. They'd have it coming to them though. As much fake stuff comes back from China, they steal so much intellectual property rights. Ah. Where are we at? Let's get back to some of these channel comments now. See what people are saying. Bill Rundle says, "Would you? What would you suggest for uh, gold coinage and fractional ounce sizes?" Is it easy for me to keep track of my PM value in the same units? A currency must be uniform and of equal divisible units. Um, uh, well, if you want to do the exact fractional ounce sizes, in the past, before this pandemic, quarter ounce was the small size we'd get the best deal. But nowadays, that's kind of out the water. But typically, the higher the fractional, they're usually half ounces uh, provide a pretty good value. Uh, so half ounces is what, is what I would do. That may be what I do for my next goal, probably. All right, where are we at? Moving on up here. Uh, Sterling Cannabis says Mexico gold is 100% fungible for the two peso up and including the 50 peso coin. Go wash your fingers. There you go. Exactly. That's right. All right. Zay Cream. As an uh, under year minor stacker in the beginning, I did the math on those and ended up realizing more bang for my buck of gold with those dose peso coins, and I was comparing 120th of an ounce coin or something. But besides, for best value, they are historical and do not have any human likeness on them, which I would prefer. If this video will be useful at the beginning. Stacker sound glad and frugal enough to have done both the math and earlier on as well. Very good. Yes, you're right. It's exactly right. They don't have any humans on them or anything like that, and they do provide a better value. That's right. Very good. Rocky Superstar 69 is the best. Very good. Thank you, sir. All right. El Porcano is here. Hello, El Porcano. Good to see you, sir. And Bullion Addict says, Sal, my first gold coin I ever bought was a two and a half peso for, 30, for 35 bucks years ago. Me, I've been purchasing sovereigns, ducats, and pesos with very reasonable premiums lately. Good advice to those wanting to get into gold. Even with the rising prices and affordable entry point. Yes, thank you. Yes, indeed. All right. Very, very good. Homebrew says, got my first five pesos two weeks ago. LCS is now bringing them in a regular at just under 5%. Might have to switch to these since Panas Libertad are scarce around here. Yes. Very true, very true. Okay, let's have a slurp here. Yeah, we're missing Terry. We're missing Barbara, too, and Pudendo. I've got El Porcano in the morning with his morning coffee. And I'm eating some almonds. All right. Let's look at where the markets are. Marginal market movement to the downside just slightly, guys. We got gold down 0.04%. A very small movement, 80 cents down. Silver's only down one cent, 0.03% movement down. Very marginal movements there. So we'll keep an eye, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yes, oh, Terry, Terry is here. She has been unbanned. Very good to see Terry. Now we need to get a Barbara in here. Very good. Mm. Uh, Grow Mechanic is here. All right. Very, very good. Let's see here. Okay. Jim Logan says, buying large units of gold. It's ounces. Okay, gold gift cards. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, selling the fractional gold despite the unattractive premiums over yet over time. The fractional. I think he is. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's, we're going to delete that. This is a, a, a spam. Yep, I'm not gonna like the spam on the channel here, Jim. Sorry. Nah, takes a while to delete this thing here. Very, very good. And uh, Billy D. Garrett says, "Buy 90% silver if you can't afford gold. These are beautiful. I have one of each. Uh, gold is just about to really take off. 2,000 very soon. Buy more by fall. That's right, gold." is gold. There you go. 
All right, very good. Thanks. Billy, uh, Chuck, this coin is the best value in fractional gold. Yes. Yep, I agree. For this, for its size, anyway. For its size. Put it to you that way. Uh, JTBSK, if this happens, preppers and stackers will be in trouble and targeted. Stay strapped. Yes, that's right. We will do if this got that high, for the price to get that high. Silver Wolverine says, I need to get some Goya. I support Goya. I do too. Goya, Goya is the good stuff. Overcome, what does suck? What sucks? Tell us, be more specific, Overcome. Michael Martin says, I've never had any money to get fractional gold. That's why I have silver. Well, uh, this is a way that uh, to, to get you into gold because you can afford to get it um, at a smaller, at a, a, at a lower price for sure. Indeed, indeed. That's what it's about. Uh, Jeanette, Dos Pesos was my first gold purchase. At the time, it was all my coin store and had small enough for what I had. Cost me around 80 bucks. Good buy by the looks of it. Yes. Very cool. It's a good entry point in for gold stackers. Yes, indeed. All right. All right. Very good. Ghost Punk. There you go. Spam sucks. Eat it, Joe's. That's right there. Ghost Punk. Good to see you, by the way. Andy Benjamin is here. Hello. And so we're looking at the markets here. We're keeping an eye on them. But essentially, they're flat right now. Silver is flat. And gold is down 0.04%. It's essentially flat too. Platinum is flat. So yes, indeed. Hello, Sneaky Somali. Good to see you. Yes, indeed. Goya all the way. Ah, so let's get back to these comments. <clears throat> oh, Eric bought his house on Friday. What were you giving me for a housewarming gift? Congratulations. It went through and you knew you, knew you were having some issues. So did you finally close on it then? That's great. Wonderful news. Man, a housewarming gift. Good grief. Wow. Way to go, my friend. That is awesome. Oh, man. America Silver Patriot. No push-ups required. Thank you so much, America. You are the man. You know what, though? I'm going to do them for you anyway because, America, you're such a great guy. Yes, indeed. Let's do a couple more push-ups for America. All right, here we go. Let's get him going. Let's get him going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. All right. There we go. We got it. Yes, indeed. Ha! Huh. Shoot. Okay. All right. Very good. Yes, congratulations, Eric. That is incredible. That is a great news. Maybe you're having trouble with that. Thank you so much. Good to see you guys. All right. Very good. Jay is here. Oh, sneaky Somalia. Thank you so much, my friend. Look at that. Hey, he's got some dumbbells there. That means I need to do some uh, some dumbbells, so I'm going to do that too. I was in shape moving, but this crap kicked my butt. I hear you. It's a lot of work. All right, I'm going to do some dumbbells now for Sneaky Somalia. Let's see here. It's a little bit of these things. Got to do them a different way because of the stupid golfer's elbow, but hey, we're doing it nonetheless. All right. Hello, Medio Man. Good to see you. We'll have it over in the markets while I do this. You guys, I'll refresh this markets here. Now, look at that. Our gold is down just a little bit. But, you know, hey, as high as they were before, coming down a little bit is understandable. Not by a whole lot. Let's see here. All right. Dumbbells here. Yeah, there you go. Throwing the cannabis. There's a big one back. All right, other hand, <clears throat> very good. Let's see here. Terry is a halo, says Gary Coover. British gold sovereigns and those pesos are awesome fraction of gold, yes. Sovereigns are probably one of the most recognizable of those uh, old gold 
coins for sure. Hello, Mud Swat. Good to see you. And good to see Talking Bullion as well. Silver High says 20 push ups. I just did 21. Hoping for gold to go up a little bit. Just got done with 21 push ups. More. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the super chats. Um, JD, only 20 pounds, brother. Yeah. Um, not much, only 20 pounds. Um, uh, I'm not a bodybuilder or anything like that. I've, I need to build up my strength, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, yeah, all right, very good. Okay, let's get back here to the comments. We'll check in on those markets here momentarily. Yes, indeed, we always like to check in with those. Aaron Phillips needs to get the Aztec 20 pesos. Beautiful coin. It sure is. It's a beautiful coin. I love this Mexican 20 pesos with the Aztec calendar on the back of it. Very, very good. All right. Let's see here. Tony Green. Sal, is there a purity standard for each of the fractional Mexican gold pesos you've shown here? I think they are. I believe they're 90%. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think they're 90% gold. Is that right? Cleocatra, I wish they were. I wish they were made of uh, of uh, of silver, the dumbbells. Um, but I think the Mexican gold is either 90% or 9167. Fine, 22 carat. But I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, so, Uperman, that's 60 push-ups so far. Thank you. Yes, I think that's right. But I did 21, so that would be 63. Sal, why does the gold Britannia seem more of a reddish hue than the gold, let's say, the gold maple leaves? Because the uh, Britannia, oh, the pure gold Britannia, um, I think it's, I'm not sure. Um, I've not noticed that with the gold Britannias. They seem to be the same color. Now, the gold sovereigns, on the other hand, do have a balance of copper in them. And so that's why it has more of a reddish hue. The copper gives it more of a reddish hue. All right, very good. Ah, we're missing Barbara still. We got Terry, though, here. All right. Let's see here. Uh, Vera, 1957, says, I just bought 40 Morgan silver dollars in great shape at 20 bucks each. I like the Morgan way more than the ASC. That's just me. I have a lot of 90%. It's actually my favorite. It has history and a story. There you go. What's your opinion? Yes, it sure does. I mean, you know, Morgans, you typically, they're not really a stacking coin unless you get them call. And then you're losing some silver weight. If you want stacking silver of that variety, you want to get constitutional, what's referred to as junk silver. All right. So Donald, New Mexico, they are 900 fine. Thank you, Donald. Appreciate that. I thought that was the case. Silver liner. I really like fractional gold, but I don't have any that have really odd amounts like 0.4875. I'm concerned that they will get the math wrong if I go to sell it. With that being said, I've been thinking about buying a Mexican coin that has 0.5217 ounces of gold. All right. Yes, that is. And I've seen that issue at coin shows when I've gone in to buy gold. I looked up a coin because they said it was this particular weight on it, um, and it wasn't. It was actually less. So I thought, that's a great deal. That's in right near spot. Then I looked it up, and he had it marked wrong. So there is that problem. You're exactly right. You've got to know what you're buying and selling in terms of the weight, for sure. The Daily Coin Org says that two peso... Has long been a favorite of mine. Always on the lookout at my LCS, pawn shops, and flea markets. The 2.5 and 5 pesos, in my opinion, are great coin to add to the stack as well. I agree, Daily Coin. Definitely well said there. Very good. Joey is here. Hello, Joey. Good to see you, sir. Been a little while. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back. All right. Okay. Yeah, where are we at? So there's a big audience tonight. Yes, good to see all you guys. Hello, the silver guy. Welcome. Glad you're here. Alan Sullivan, coin shortage equals BS 
Uh, where did the coins go? The guy at dispensaries are holding them and get used to being cashless next. Enter the mark of the beast and I bet they can melt all those coins down into bomb castings for the war brewing. Well, I think essentially the coins, it's not like <clears throat> they're all being melted down or disappeared. They're just not flowing through the normal channels of commerce. That's the problem. All right, very good. Love the Mex. Oh, thank you so much, the silver guy. I appreciate that. Kendall K and thank you, my friend. You're rocking it too. We appreciate you being here. All right. Yes, and then we have 79 thumbs up. If we can get 100 thumbs up tonight, that would be wonderful. Appreciate you guys. Caddy, Cody Cass, I just bought a bunch of $10 gold liberties, almost a half ounce for $8.90 each. Wow, that's a steal. I think that's a great price. Man. All right, there you go. That's why I stick to uh, Pier 3 or 4 nines. No confusion. Totally understandable, Ozzy. Totally understandable. I've been tired of trading cryptos and definitely how you been doing? Doing well. No problem, Joey. Yeah, I understand. Appreciate you. $1,800 gold brings out a big Sunday audience. It sure does. Yes, indeed. Let's see. What is gold doing now? Is it still above $1,800? It sure is. Uh, gold is only marginally down. And in fact, for the second time tonight, gold and silver are moving at the exact same percentage level. In other words, rate 0.05%. For both, gold down 90 cents and silver down one of those 90. Very good. Yes, I'm waiting for Nancy Pelosi to answer. I wish we could call on Nancy. That'd be fun. Mm. All right, very good. We have 87 thumbs up, five thumbs down. I wonder if that guy over can't come uh, press the th thumbs down button. I don't know. Uh, middle finger too. That's right. Give me the middle finger. Let's see here. All right. We've got uh, millennial stacker. Nice. Thanks for the tip. No problem. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. All right. Very good. Hello, Justin Sartain. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. 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 Kevin W. says, my local coin dealer sells foreign gold at Melt. For stacking purposes, it's a heck of a deal. That's incredible, man. That's amazing. Find a local coin dealer that sells that stuff for Melt. I'd be lapping it up. Oh, man, thank you so much, Le Petit Silver, towards the new equipment. Thank you so much, my friend. Yes, I am taking the Super Chats. I haven't really been mentioning it lately because I don't want to pressure you guys or make you feel obligated or anything like that. But all the Super Chats do go towards the new equipment. Now, as you understand, uh, it is YouTube takes 30% of that, and then with taxes, so essentially about half of that money uh, that's being donated will go towards the new equipment. So I appreciate that, Le Petit Silver. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, indeed. All right. Very, very good. And uh, let's see here. Um, Sneaky Somali, I'm looking to build my credit. Is it a bad idea to build to buy gold with a credit card? No. In fact, many of those credit cards will give you points back to spend. However, you have to think about this. When you buy gold with a credit card, depending on where you buy it, they're going to charge you 3 sometimes even 4% the processing, which means that is enough money that's going to make it not worth it to do. So if you're going to use a credit card, make sure it is with a, uh, find it on eBay deal or something like that where you're not going to be penalized for using it uh, in that manner. But yes, indeed. Very good. Steve Garrard, thank you so much, sir. Appreciate that. Uh, super chat and keep stacking. Yes, thank you very, very much. All right, I need a new Pete build. There you go, Pete build. Um, oh, was it America Silver Patriot's birthday? Whoa, well, happy birthday, America Silver Patriot. Yes, indeed. Let's sing it together for him, shall we? Happy birthday to you. Why am I the only one singing here? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, America Silver Patriot. Yeah! Happy birthday to you in January. So we're a little bit late or oh, we're incredibly early. And I'm telling you, it's crazy. We got lukewarm coffee. We're slurping right here. Mm. Moving ahead. Mill steel. I'm still going to try to swap silver for gold when the ratio tightens up. All right. Well, there you go. Just be careful doing that. Make sure you, um, uh, if your LCS does it, they will trade you ounce for ounce. Silver Game of Thrones, the best value in fractional gold is the coin, which I own. There you go. All right. Awesome indeed. Very good. 
It's in January. That's right. We're a little bit late. We're right in smack dab. We're either way late or way early. And I've just been muted by uh, Terry. Dang it. Son of a... Um, you sing Oh Krabada. You should sing Oh Krabada. I don't know what that is. Silverholic, or I would. Thank you, sir, though. You were the man. Silverholic, great guy, great channel. Check him out. Michael Martin. I think I've just embarrassed myself in more ways than one. Harry Balls. I want to trade silver ASCs for one ounce Croatian testisas. Is this a good deal? I've not seen the one ounce testisas. Croatian. Interesting. I'll have to look that one up. Ontario. Good to see you. Ontario posted a great video of his collection of, of notes. Yes, indeed. Great, great guy. Great channel, Ontario 100. Captain Ron Hayward. You should use cash apps as some other YouTubers use. Then you'll get 100% and using Cash App, we can send a short message or question along with a donation. You'll get it instantly and the message. Ah, oh, wild. Well, thank you, Captain Ron. Um, Actually, I do have a PayPal link, um, and uh, there, and I do get those uh, immediately, too, if you send them friends and family. And there's a way to send a short message in there, too, unless you're talking about something that I can tie into the chat here. I'll have to look into that. But thank you, Captain Ron. If you know anything about that, can you email me about that? Thank you, Captain. And I appreciate it. I hope you um I hope you understand that I'm I'm really not a silver hater and I'm trying not to, you know, I I hope you're not too upset with me about that. But anyways, have to watch Yankee Stacking's video for that old Cradaba song. Okay, cool. All right, very good. Drain the swamp. When you check the markets, can you check the debt clock too? Um yeah, I'm, well, I'm going to say the debt clock. I'm going to be doing another video on that um, soon. I'm waiting a little bit on that, but yes, I do gonna be, I'm going to be posting. I have that in a playlist, actually, too, with the debt clock stuff. So I'm going to be doing that pretty soon. All right. Yes, indeed. Or fairly regularly, semi-regularly. Good to see Slava Key here. A lot of good folks here tonight. we got 93 thumbs up. Trying to work towards 100 thumbs up if we can, so I appreciate you guys. And the markets are kind of just hovering. Now, as is the case, at about an hour and some odd minutes in, we'll actually take a look at the charts and see how they have been doing. But all the metals are down just slightly, save for palladium is up nine bucks. All right. Dissident aggressor is here. Good to see you, DA. Checking in from work. You're the man. Uh, Ozzy Alchemist. Yes, it's in this. You should see it right there in the bottom of the screen, the PayPal link. It's um, salivatemetal at gmail.com. So yes, it is the same. Or you can click on it in the description of this video too as well. Thank you, Ozzy. And if you send that friends and family, uh, taxes don't come out. YouTube doesn't get it. You know, it's it's all free and clear. And to thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Very good. You guys are great. All right, let's see here. Um. Rookie Trader, first comment, woohoo, on the Silver Urgent st Silver Stacker update for Chuck and Plata. Very good. Good morning to Savage Stacker on this one, too. You are the man. And we've got um, Savage Stacker saying, you're welcome, Chuck and Plata. You're welcome. Thank you very much for both of you. Thank you. All right, so Savage Stacker was able to take advantage of that deal. That's great. All right, Silver Wolverine, I'm not a silver hater either. I just need my price and lower premiums which means I, I have to wait. We have to be responsible and realistic. That's right. <clears throat> All right. Mm. Uh, so CCT posted a video with my prize from Distant Aggressor. Very cool. Uh, I need to check it out. When did you post that, CCT? Do you think I should tra I could uh, trade a one-ounce 2019 Gold Liberty for two one-ounce Gold Eagles at the coin shop? Likely not, Robert M., I'd be very surprised if they do that deal. Very surprised that they would do that deal. All right. Um, Steve Grant, I wish I knew about the other way to donate. Um, yeah, you see that email address there? Uh, PayPal. If you have PayPal and send a friends and family, you can do it that way too. But thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. All right. Very good. Coffee's great, Slava Key. Yes, indeed. Very good. Mm. Okay, we have a... Man, this is a tough one, guys. This MMA matchup is a tough one. Let's take a look at these markets. Let them flow here while we while we uh, uh, study this uh, MMA matchup. 
Rush guitarist Alex Lifeson versus commentator Glenn Beck. You know, I tell you. Oh, about a week ago. Okay, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Uh, okay, take care, Sneaky Somalia. Thank you so much, my friend, for being here. Going to make some dinner fish and chips. A nice dinner indeed. Thank you. Hello, Fiat Destroyer. I'm going to have to go with Glenn Beck on this one, uh, Kalonic Stacker. He's a great entertainer. Diffusion of entertainment and enlightenment, Glenn Beck is. And though I disagree with some of his stuff, overall, he's a good guy. Al a Rush guitarist Alex Lifeson is good. Um, good guitar player. I wouldn't necessarily call him a virtuoso, but nonetheless, he is good. But I'm going to have to go with Glenn Beck on this one. Yes, indeed. I will check it out, CCT. Sorry I missed it. All right. Uh, Slava Key, I do drink some beer. It happens rarely, but cool. Yes, a little bit of beer is good for you. Uh, the Robert, this is Black Silk, Folgers Black Silk Coffee. Yes, indeed. Mm. All right, very good. Oh, thank you, Steve. Appreciate that. Bullion Addict is here. Good to see you. All right, fish and chips. Very good. So there's where the market is. Just marginal movements, not uh, down by much, but both metals are down slightly. Very, very good. Let's get back up to the comments. Richard C. says, Salivate, you are the man. Please sell more silver. Scoop it up. There you go. Well, it's going to show that silver does sell. Yeah, this is a good guy. He um, definitely needed to uh, liquidate some stuff there. Richard C. says, Salivate, show me the gold or silver if people are selling. All right. Yes, indeed. Well, um, well as you saw, uh, this guy was selling. Chuck and Plata was. If you have the short, very interesting, and thanks for sharing, Sal. Well, thank you so much, my friend. This is on this. This will happen if, if gold rises to 10000 and silver to $100. Thank you, Fiat Destroyer. Destroying that Fiat. Good to see you. All right. Stephen Miranda is here. Good to see you, Stephen Miranda. Welcome, sir. Uh, good to see you. I think he's a new. Yes, he's a new uh, member. Honorary citizen. Yes, indeed. Michelob Ultra only has 2.6 carbs. I need to drink some more Michelob Ultra then because I'm trying to cut back on carbs. Yes, indeed. Good stuff. All right. Pamela Wright says, I would have taken a bunch off his hands in another time and place. Not now. Understandable. I totally understandable, Pamela Rice. Thank you so much. Silver Heist says, Breaking news, Chuck and Plata. Silver was sold. Thanks to Chuck and Plata for passing along the news article. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Chiefly Chieftain is here. Good to see you. Milm Steel is here. Good to see you both. We have 106 thumbs up. Thank you guys for pushing us there. Can we just try? Guys, now that we've reached 100 thumbs up, can we pull it to 500? Can we get 500 thumbs up now just real quickly here? Can we do it, please? I know we only have 124 watchers, but I really would like to get 500 thumbs up on this video. I really, 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 really would. I'm just teasing you. I'm just teasing you. Bill457 says, well, don't see. That's basically what stacking is about to get extra money when you need to ready to retire. And it sure is. That's exactly what it's there for. You're right. All right. Very good. And Richard C. says, salivate. You have, uh, you have to get some old farts to sell their stacks. Always buy from the mint and get free shipping. Cheaper than that, Max. You know, to soak in acetone and take the color off. They should allow you to pay your taxes by buying coins to the men as payment. Now, there you go. That would be a novel idea. That would be a nice way to pay your taxes. All right. No, no, don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. I know. I tell you. Value Hunter says, awesome community once again. Blessings and what comes from the next season for you. Thank you, Value Hunter. You are the man. Good guy. All right. Terry. I like the Mexican pesos. Very cool. I do too, Terry. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Let's see what the markets are doing right now. Well, now, look at that. Silver is actually up 0.03% with no movement in the nominal price. In other words, zero. It's flat. And gold is down just ever so slightly. Momentarily here, we are going to see what those charts look like. All right. Mm. Oh, Gary says, I do the best invitation I've ever heard of Beavis and Butthead. Wow, well, thank you, Gary. Appreciate it. I'm eating on these almonds now, which makes my throat a little bit chalky. So I need to 
digest them before I do that imitation again. But yes, thank you. All right. Okay. Where are we at? Let's get back here to the comments. Greg Charlton says, I just picked up a five pesos 1955 gold coin for 240 bucks at a local coin shop. Nice job. Nice score. I think that's 0.12 if I remember from my video. So that's great. 0.12 ounces. Okay. JD says, trust and respect. We earn these things through our positive interactions. Kudos to all for reaching out and making such a success. This is a truly a remarkable community. Thank you, Sal, for your leadership in this project. Together we can do great things. Thank you, JD. Yes, indeed. And Chuck Aplata, you know, he's one of those guys that has been around long enough. I've known him long enough that I feel comfortable doing that. I typically don't do this for others, um, but I appreciate you guys. I just know that he's trustworthy, and thank you all so much. This is really a great community for sure. All right. Cyber Curtain Twitcher says, that was nice of you to help him with liquidating his stack. Enjoy your retirement. Thank you, CCT. Appreciate that. Breaking news, everybody. It has been reported by several news agencies that Terry79 would like to kick me in the shin, which I would rather have that than her kicking me in the nuts. That would really hurt. So thank you for your grace there, Terry79. Savage Stacker is here. Hello, Savage Stacker. Welcome to you. You are the man. All right. Good to see you. Uh, can somebody pass along the barber that just gave a real big slurp in her honor? All right, very good. Oh, man. Grow mechanic is coughing from smoke, not COVID. Okay, very good. Not COVID. I'm glad that Grow mechanic does not have COVID. That's good news. Logan says, I love the look of those dose pesos. Golds, keep up the good work and stay safe. Yes, thank you so much, Logan. I think they're a cool looking piece indeed. Unaffiliated says... Well done, Celebate Metal Community. Yes, well done indeed. You guys are great. Thank you all so much for helping them out with that. And you get some silver. Hopefully at a good deal. I understood that he was selling them for like $21.50 each or something like that. I think that's what he ended up selling them for, I believe. Donald Robinson says, To combat terrorism, drug trafficking, and illegal financial transactions, I hereby declare all gold and silver not minted by the USA Mint. Is contraband to be sold only to us, the U.S. Treasury. Ooh, could you see that happening? I don't know. We shall see. A dissident aggressor says, when I see those gold coins, I picture that dude with a big sombrero resting against a cactus. Yes. And this kind of <coughs> harkens back to that image indeed. And that was not a COVID cough either, by the way, just so you know. All right. Here we go. And his little stack. He sold all of it. That's great. Thanks for helping out a brother, Sal. Thank you, Eddie's. Very good. Medio Man is still missing the 10 pesos coins. They are beauties like most Mexican coins. Yes, they are. Yes, they are indeed. All right, Savage Stacker. Yes, 2150. Got a tube. Super happy with the deal. Awesome, Savage Stacker. I thought that, I didn't want to say that price in because in case the price was to go up. And was silver to go up to $22 an ounce. I didn't want him to feel totally screwed on that deal, but that is a good deal. I'm glad you got that. That is wonderful, Savage. That's great. All right. Lucky 13 says Rocky. Very good. So what's the market doing now, folks? Ooh, now we're back down in the negative territory slightly with silver. 1942 and gold is down $1. That's it, $1. Yes, indeed. Not a lot of movement at all. Yes, indeed. But I still think uh, it's going to probably end for another seventh week, probably this week higher. We'll see. Mm. All right. Having another almond here. That's what's happening here. Mm, let's see here. I'm going to lift this dumbbell a little bit. I feel like doing it. I feel like doing it while I eat this almond. That way I can chew with my mouth open. Mm. And lift this dumbbell at the same time. All right, very good. I'm doing it. I'm doing it well. It's only 20 pounds, but that's okay. Please don't judge me. Please don't judge me. 
All right, now you can judge me. Everybody judge me right now. I want you to judge me now. Do it. All right, here we go. Very good. I'm doing it. Waiting for judgment. Ugh. I haven't even counted how many times I've done it on this hand. But it's not very many, that's for sure. Ugh. Now this side. Mm. Here we go. $20 by the end of the week, says Ozzy. All right. We shall see. It could get there. It could easily get there at the rate, rate, rate things are going. But you know what, Ozzy? I'm going to guess it's not going to get there. Let's see who's right. If I'm right, I, well, I won't be able to do it on a live stream this Sunday, but maybe Friday night I can do some push-ups. If you're right, and if I'm right, you'll do some push-ups. I don't know. Let's see here. Put that thing down. Still have three of these almonds left. Oh, all right, guys. So here, that's where the markets are. Just marginal movement downwards. And we are going to now, this is, this is the point in the live stream where we're going to take a look at the charts. All right. So you can see here it is in the green, out of the starting gate, uh, essentially flat. And then down, it's trying to creep back up above that limit, or above that floor there, where we saw it about 1811, but it isn't quite making it. It is not quite making it there. So that's gold. Silver, though, has actually gone right up to the zero level. And so it's coming back up a little bit here. And uh, But it's still marginally down right now, too. So that's, there's where the charts lie. We'll see what we're happening here. Mark B is here. It looked like the Hulk when I get this push-ups going. Oh, I wish. You know, I've been doing these push-ups semi-regularly, and my my uh, chest muscles do feel a little tighter, but they're not necessarily bigger. So no man boobs for me yet. But I want to get my biceps a little bit bigger. But I got this darn stupid golfer's elbow. Still giving me a problem, but I'm trying to baby it. Okay, let's see here. A little slurping action there for you guys. Now, let's get into these comments here. David Burris, the problem is a circulation issue, not a shortage. Many businesses are going cashless in order to not have to handle money. Heck, the last time I went to drive through a Taco Bell, they made me insert my debit card into the reader so they wouldn't even have to touch it. Yes, that very well could be part of the problem, too. Uh, indeed. It's a circulation issue. That's actually a good point. Silver Bowl 30 says, great video. I love my 20 franc as well to add to your fractional gold. Yes. All right. Nice, Silver Bowl. And very good. Nice coin. Indeed, the 20 francs. Let's respond to that. A brum rush in the Sullivan Metal Futures. Yes. Oh, man. Rush to the future. Yes. No, no, none of that yet is coming, but yes, not anytime real soon anyway, but we'll get to the bum rush momentarily. Ah, we're getting close to the end of this coffee. I predict I'll have this coffee finished before the barber shows up. Slava Key says, thanks for the offer, Sal. I don't have money to buy silver. All right, no worries, Slava Key. I understand. Yes, indeed. We don't want anybody to spend money they don't have for sure. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Tomoko's Enterprise says, This is just a really nice post, my friend. You're always there for the community to remember any kind of need. You truly rock in many ways, Sal. I know just how much you surely are, are appreciated. Well, thank you so much, Tomoko's Enterprise. Uh, we helped uh, did, did some push-ups, and you guys were a great community because it was you guys that really pulled through to help Dean uh, as well and also to help chuck so i appreciate you guys this this community that's great for sure hey there we go all right barbara darn well you know what uh, barbara i'm glad you're here um but i was going to predict that i would have this coffee finished before you showed up but i'm glad you're here we missed you hello good to see you so here's a slurp in your honor she's driving good to see you. barbara be careful on the road yes indeed all right Rocky Mountain Bear, good to see Rocky Mountain Bear. Nice. 
All right, Chuck and Plata, multitude of gratitude to you and the community. Amazing love and patience by all. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Chuck. Indeed, you're awesome. Silver Steeler says, I'm excellent size comparison displayed. You got a steal back in the day. I understand keeping that two by two flip. Thumbs up, my friend. Thank you, sir. Yes. A gentle reminder of what uh, was the deal that we could get in gold back in the day. Hindsight is always 2020, they say. And this year is 2020. And David Rivera is pretty uh, static about this um, this video. Well, stay tuned because there will be an update to this video. Yes, indeed. And coming up in short order. All right. Very good. Or long order or medium order. Coin Group of Minnesota says, yes, it's the best value with the lowest premiums as well as a British Gold Sovereign, which I think is awesome. I don't like to buy a fraction of gold because of the high premiums. These two have the lowest price, and I just want to pay for the gold. Rock on, brother. Yes, indeed. That's right. Yes, sir. Well said. Having another one of these things right now. These, these um, baked almonds with dark chocolate on them. I mean, like sprinkled on them. Army of Gog says the coronavirus has spawned $4 trillion in additional expenditures with very little long-term benefit. Debasement of the currency is a consequence of quantitative easing or counterfeiting is occurring. The second uh, thing occurring is a debt debit side balance sheet, which is increasing at the same time as our ability to service is decreasing. Yeah, it certainly is concerning for sure. The market is and what's going on there. Okay. Ozzy was right. Barbara's driving to Chuck's place to collect capital gains. Ah, there you go. That's what's going on. Shh, don't tell the IRS. Oh, man. Max Strong, I have a dose basis coin in my collection. Congratulations there, Max. It's a beautiful coin. I'm glad you're able to get one. Mm. All right. I'm baked. I'm half baked. Anyway. Mm. Ah, very good. Okay. Max Strong. Helicopter money. Burr. Printer go burr. That's right. There's a guy that used to post on our cha on this channel that says, um, Printer go burr burr or something like that. Haven't seen him in a while. Hawaii AG. Good video for air guitar. And bang head to at the intro. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Army of Gog. Strong Chinese demand puts copper in the bull market. Yes, indeed. All right. There are we at. Okay, let's see here. Slava Key says, sell the best gold coin is Russian Alexander 3, 1886-88. They were sold in Russia for 20, 40K. Here in America, they cost 350, 1100. I know nothing about pesos. Interesting. I've uh, not heard of that coin, but that's cool. All right, we finished the coffee, and now we are going to put a little water in here. Put a little water in here and soak this thing up. Okay, let's see what the markets are doing here. We've got 123 thumbs up. Appreciate you guys. And right now, we are looking at... Gold only down a dime now, everybody. And silver has flattened back out to just a 0.03% increase, which does not register on the nominal uh, front. And gold is, uh, yeah, literally back up to 1811. It's essentially flat as well. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <clears throat> All right. Very good. Sal, can I file a tax loss on my silver? Oh, man. That would be cool if we could file the tax losses. That would be nice. Press one for damsel. Yes, indeed. We need damsel and pudenda here, too. <clears throat> right. So there's where the markets are, guys. Pretty flat all the way around. Sal, who cares about premium if gold will go to 3K per ounce? That's a big if it goes to that. You know, we shall see. Some people are predicting it. You never can know. Boy, it's tough. It's tough to buy gold at $1,800 an ounce, much less uh, $3,000. Oh, my goodness gracious. Can you imagine? Man. Down in New Mexico, good deal. 
Sal, good deal, Chuck. Good deals, everybody. Rated five slurps. Very good. Thank you, Donald. Thank you, Donald. Mudswire, where do you recommend I pick up a dose pesos? Um, well, uh, your local coin shop is probably going to have some of the better deals on them. Uh, but if not, I think Money Metals Exchanges has them. And you could shop around from different bullion dealers, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Lazy Alchemist, Silver Nose, all green by the end of the day. All right. All right, time for me to head out and have a good night. Thank you so much, CCT. I'll go back and check out that video that you posted last week on your prize from VA. All right. Very, very good. Okay, let's see. A multitude of platitude. There you go, Hawaii AG. Yes, indeed. Of course, we can imagine the Fed keeps printing money. That's right, but see, the thing is, Slava Key, the Fed kept printing money in 2011 through 2013, but gold and silver went down after that. That's why uh, I'm not necessarily saying that it's definitely going to go up to $3,000 per ounce. Uh, let's see here. Brady Perez says, I set the mood, some candles, and very white, then in a tub of uh, flower petals, also lovely tap the thumbs up. Thank you so much, Bradley. Very kind of you indeed. Appreciate that. Those thumbs up do help the videos. Just like this one here. I appreciate you guys thumbing up the video. Definitely. It helps. Dara Mullen says, if you had to, if you had, if you had to, you could swallow those to hide them. Yes, I guess technically, yeah, you could. You definitely could swallow them. Getting them back out would be a little bit of a pain. Mm. Savage Stacker, I've looked all day for dose pesos. No go, probably because someone made a video about them. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Yes, indeed. Yes. Yeah. I've not shopped around them for, uh, for a while, but anyways. Lisa, FFS, uh, what are they going to put credit card machines in public bathrooms to buy sanitary napkins? This will never fly. They would uh, have to change out all the machines that you put your air in your tires because they run on change. So do car washes. This is crazy and complete BS. I'm sure I always use cash. They don't take personal checks anymore. I only use my credit card for emergencies. Yes, I'm a cash guy too, Lisa Ryan. So I'm right there with you. It's pain. This has been a pain in the butt for sure. Uh, BSO uh, says, uh, so spending a lot of time at street level, let me see a lot of crap. First off, most fake gold coins are struck and other than U.S. coiners, usually 14K gold is used on gold that's supposed to be much purer and less on how gold content coins. I know this since I personally have lasered hundreds, thousands of gold coins. Secondly, if you're a stacker and not a collector, hoping to gain value and have a currency form of future trade, then you should stick with the recognized coinage in the place you plan to trade at, i.e. U.S. for U.S. That's true. You got you to gotta definitely keep that in mind, too. And I did think about that. I probably should have made mention more of that, that these fractional Mexican gold coins are pretty recognizable. I won't say they're completely common like sovereigns or or other more, but they pretty much are. But I certainly get your point, BSO, and you're right. All right. Cache Cats is here. Hello. Good to see you. Definitely. Mexico gold shows up only sporadically at Medio Man's LCS. So, yeah, so this is kind of, um, I guess it's not completely mainstream, but it is recognized enough that most people are going to know what they are. But, again, your point is well taken, and that is something to uh, keep in consideration for sure. Thank you, BSO. Jamie Fox is very nice. We appreciate the hard work you put in the metals community, Salivate. I've been watching since I started my Precious Metals journey, and I've learned a lot from you, and I've had some fun on the live stream as well. Well, thank you, Jamie Fox. You are very kind. I appreciate you, sir. All right. Uh, SCL Def 22's first 50 peso coin arrives next week. Oh, you're going to love it. It is great. Congratulations. Yes, we're glad to have you here. Cache. Yes, indeed. Okay, awesome job, Sal. TYU big time. Thank you, Terry. And be better. You know how you can thank me is to send me some sexy pics. No, I'm kidding you. I'm just kidding you because that's Kendall Kid's joke. 
All right, very good. All right, Jack says, really cool. Thanks for uh, overviewing these. Well, thank you, Jack. I appreciate that. A little fun. Let's see what the market's doing. Why, let's market check, market check, market check. What are they doing? The market is on fire. And by fire, I'm talking about just a little tiny little little flame out of the little match stick. Not a lot of movement, guys. The market's down. All right, for the third time tonight with a different number, I think. I think for the first time, they were both going at 0.08. Then it went to 0.05. Now it's 0.03 movement for each of the metals. Gold is down 60 cents. Silver is down one cent. Look at that. Not much happening with the metals tonight. That's right, guys. But you never know. On these Sunday nights, Sunday nights, we have seen some pretty crazy stuff happening for sure. But I probably won't be here next Sunday night uh, because of some other commitment, something that is scheduled. I don't know for sure. But... Uh, but anyway, so we have to might have to pass the next Sunday night. But yes, indeed. All right. Silver Wolverine's going driving and listening. Thank you, Silver Wolverine. Good to see ya. All right. Yes, indeed. Check out Silver Wolverine's video where he uses a match. And you got to see it to believe it. A match on some currency. Yes, indeed. Check it out. No Metal Mania tonight. That's right, truth or nothing. No Metal Mania tonight. And... Silverholics gold stack is down $4.50. Sucks. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Moving back here to the front, we have Fiat Destroyer says, I'm liking the Mexican gold coin more and more with each coin I get. Yes, love these Mexican gold. Very nice coins indeed. Silver Bull 5030 says, Sal, this is what this is all about. Stack accurate and liquidate when you need a want to, but especially in an instance. This is what literally stacking should be about. I hope whatever the money is for, that it brings him much gratitude and happiness. You're a good old fellow. Well, thank you so much, Silver, uh, Silver Bonus. Thanks to, thanks to this community coming together and, and reaching out to Chuck and Plata. They have um, oh, they've gotten some a pretty good deal, from what I understand, from them as well. So I hope it worked out for everyone there. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, all right. Sound Money Arizona says returning our states to gold backed currency will facilitate the need for silver as well. And I feel the gold back is our best chance. Will Arizona get a gold back? Let's hope so. That would be pretty cool if each state did that. Mm. 1816 American Silver Eagle. That's right. This is population one of one. That's right. There's an oldie, but a goodie. Check it out, that video, the 1816 American Silver Eagle. you got to see it to believe it, this video right here, guys. This is an older video, but we can make it famous right now. All, 100, all 131 of you search for 1816 American Silver Eagle. That's right. Pretty interesting. Yeah, there you go. Something little enjoyment to watch for you if you're interested. Captain K-Man, I would have laughed... If a store or corporation who are worth more than I could ever even imagine being worth asked me to eat the loss over them. I know exactly. No way. I wasn't going to take a loss on that. That's for sure. All right. Indeed. All right. All right okay. All right. All the 134 of you here, we have 134 thumbs up and 134 of you watching. And I appreciate you guys. Now there's 137. Uh, so I appreciate you thumbing up this video. But also... If you can search for this video, 1816 American Silver Eagle on my channel, my guess is that a not a single one of you have ever seen this video. It's an old video. In the chat, even if you've never typed anything in the chat before, press the number one if you have never seen this video entitled 1816 American Silver Eagle right here. Uh, because I want, I'm curious. This is an old one I'd forgotten about. But you guys have got to see this video. So if you do that, go over and check this video out, 1816 American Silver Eagle, and watch the video, and then put a comment in there that you watched it based off of this live stream. I'd, I'd appreciate that. I'm curious to see what you guys think about this, about an actual 1816 American Silver Eagle. All right, Terry has just gave him, given me a thumbs up out of sympathy. Thank you so much, Terry. So a lot of people have not seen it very good. All right, guys, nice. Ben McDaniel has not seen it. Light Blue has not seen it. Silverholic's not seen it. Cashier Cats, a lot of people. So check it out, 1816 American Silver Eagle. If you search that in my videos, it should pop up. Let me see if I can do this. I'm going to see if I can find a way to do this here. Let me see here. 
Uh, doesn't know. Crap, it doesn't. Let me see here. Ah, crap. Here it is. Let me put the link in here. Let me put the link in here. Here's the link. Thank you, Terry. There's the link. You don't have to watch it right... Well, you don't have to watch it right now. Uh, but watch it. Watch it and check it out sometime. It's pretty wild. I think you might like it. It's pretty interesting. All right. Very good. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy stuff, Silverholic. You might like that old intro, too, by the way. That old intro. I, that old intro took me a long time to do. I used a different piece of software for it. But we're back here. We're back to the front. Not there. We're over here. Here we go. All right. I love Mexican gold, says Justin Ambrose. Very cool, Justin. Oh, that's not it. I've got my... That's the link to the video. We don't want that. We put the link to the video in here. Yes, indeed. We didn't put the link to the video there. I forgot about some of those old videos. I, I didn't even realize, but somebody told me that I've got... And I haven't checked, but apparently I've got over 3,000 videos posted. Yes, indeed. That's right, Silverholic. Yeah. Kendall no Kid, I, I did link it. I linked it above there. Uh, thank you, Uberman. So I linked it. If you scroll back up, you'll see where the link is. All right. Silver uh, Wolverine, that's awesome. He sold it all. Thank you, Silver Wolverine. You are the man. Silver Wolverine. We all live in a Silver Wolverine. Guido Stacking is here. Guido, man, good to see Guido. Welcome, Guido. I've got a missing link. That's right. Uh, now, over 10K views. Okay, cool. All right. 10K views. But yeah, y'all check out that video. It's pretty wild. But anyways, let's see here. Guido, scroll up for that link, Guido. You might like that video I posted about an 1816 Silver American Eagle, Guido. Yes, indeed. Herb Ash, good to see you. Herb Ash, welcome. Justin Sartain says, I was going to get some MS-65 Morgans. I decided to break from stacking Morgans to stack some Golden State Mint rounds. Thanks for the heads up. Thank you. Yes, indeed, Justin. Took place that um, uh, participated in this as well. Cache Katz, who is in here with us in the chat, says, The 2 peso has a purity weight of 1.5 grams, pure gold. Easy fractional for the stack. Yes, indeed. That's right. It's 90% gold, so it weighs more than that, but it has 1.5 grams of actual gold weight. That's exactly right. Yeah, Guido, it's crazy stuff. Um, it's uh, Yeah, if you scroll up, there's a link to it. It's called 1816 American Silver Eagle. Silverholic says I've got 3,369 videos. Wow. Man, I didn't realize I had that many videos and 9, 9 million views. I think that's 9 million views. Wow. That's crazy. I guess I've been pretty busy, but thank you, Silverholic. I've been doing this for a long time now, but you guys are awesome, and thank you so much. Wouldn't have any of this without you. All right, very good. Dan Aldridge says, I'm convinced that silver won't rise until the chaos arrives within the next year and gold takes off. Once gold is unattainable or, or at cost prohibitive, people and investors will flock to silver. When this happens, silver will skyrocket. Yeah, I agree. I think that's what's going to happen, too. It's just that uh, threshold has not been met for gold yet. All right, wow. Let's see here. Yeah, the holic sounds of video holic. Yes, indeed. Uh, nearly 10 million views. It'd be a lot more impressive, uh, Ozzy, if I had 10 million views in 1,000 videos. Uh, but for 3,000 videos or 3,700 videos and 9, 9 million views, it's not quite as impressive. But thank you, guys. I appreciate it. And there's, there, like I said, there's channels that are less than half my age on the internet that have are on YouTube that have, that have way outperformed me for sure as far as views. But thank you guys. Thank you so much. Mark B, you're the best. You are awesome too. Uh, Mito Man just watched it. Very cool. Thank you. Unobtainium says Mud Swat. Let's get back here to what the markets are doing in all this chaos. Ah, oh, man, down again just slightly. The metals are hanging down just ever so slightly. Not a whole lot going on. Rick, I love Goya. I do too. I like the little snacks. I like the little snacks they have. All right. Mm. Okay, let's see here. Spare a dime. I love an underdog. Yes, indeed. I do too. All right, very good. 
Uh, Captain Master Video says, with so many fakes out there, how would you test for authenticity on these coins? 900 or higher, I mainly use strong magnets, which give 90% certainty plus test for weight. Looks and size are confirmed. I don't know that magnets would necessarily work on these little pesos, but you can get a precious metals verifier and they have a wand for the small coins and they do work for that. But good question for sure for the tiny gold. You're right. All right. Very good. Cody Cass says, if anyone in the community has ever has a large stock, they want to sell quick or one to go, 100 buyers, let me know. I may not pay as much as 100 buyers, each paying $20 a single round, but I'll pay more than a shop. It'll be fast, easy. Cody at Gmail. All right. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Felix uh, Kramer von Klausbrook. Well done. I snoozed and lose. No worries. Uh, might be more specific about gold weight, says MJ St. M. Mount. More about gold weight in regard to ounce. And be sure to mention Troy ounce for beginners. Uh, well, I pretty much did say what the actual weight was in grams and Troy ounce. Uh, well, I said point something of the ounce, but precious metals are always uh, measured in Troy ounces. But I was very specific about the weight. In fact, grams should give it away. I mentioned for each size. Uh, oh, man, thank you. Uh, I've been watching your videos for years under a different name. Thank you, Le Petit Silver. I appreciate it. You just watched the video and gave it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. I appreciate you, sir. I tested for three months. There's simply heart none to be found. So Silverholic has not been able to find a Sigma Metallics tester out there. Man, I'm sorry. Thanks, Stephen Miranda. I appreciate you watching the video. Very nice. Cool. All right, Guido just saw the video. Your voice is a bit different back then. Like my older videos, I had a feeling it was fake. Yes, you were right. And I did go through puberty since then. Urbash, what do you think of the Iraqi dinar revaluation? New prime minister to meet with Trump administration. I've not heard about it. That's interesting. That may give us a foretaste of the things to come. We shall see. Medium man says always. I'm not sure what you're referring to there, but always. Not sure what that means. Hugh man, you convinced me to order another 20 peso. Cool. All right. He's going to get the Vente Peso on that one. Very, very good. All right. Silverholic says the premium is entirely dependent on where you buy. That's exactly right. Online dealers with increased the premium as, as the coins get smaller, but LCS usually don't. That's right. All my LCS have a pretty much fixed premium no matter the size of the coin. For that reason, buying fractional is really the best way to go about it if you have the choice. Fractional is way more liquid and easier to purchase. Only downside is that they are so tiny, it's hard to see the details on them with a the naked eye. That's very true. Servaholic, you're exactly right on all points. Very true. Okay, where are we at? If you have the story, I'm guessing it didn't happen if this article is a year old. Yes, that's right. It has not happened. That's exactly right. Victor Frankenstein, nonetheless, we appreciate you sharing the information with us. Well, thank you so much, Victor. All right. Can you talk like Alex Jones? Uh, let's get the gills. Put the fish on the gills. We got to do something about these people. <laughs> we got to do something. I don't know what to do about these people. <laughs> They're gonna kill us all. <laughs> it's 1776, and we're coming for you. That's all I know. Oh, Guido stacking 4.99. Thank you for the super chat for the 1816 eagle. Yay, yay, yay! Thank you, sir. I appreciate that, my friend. All right. Very good. All right. Uh, Medium Man. Okay, yes. Uh, PMs always in Troy ounces. No, that's you're right. I stand corrected. There are a lot of kilo and grams out there. Um, what I'm talking about, uh, Medium Man, is, the, um, is typically the weights for the precious metals, especially if they're not marked. Uh, like, for instance, those coins don't have their weight listed. The dose pesos don't. Now, uh, the two and a half pesos don't, but the fives do. They're listed either in grams but any kind of weight conversion is to troy ounces typically. Copper, on the other hand, is measured in Ava de Porus ounces. So if it's not marked on the coin, is what I, what I, really what I meant to say. The precious metals, uh, if they're not marked, they're always, when, the, when measured in ounces, 
Uh, it's in troy ounces, save for copper. Slava key. Troy is 32 grams. Actually, troy ounce is 31.1 grams. Imperial is 28 grams. Most of metals say troy. Why do we still measure imperial? Uh, well, it's avidoporous, and um, that is done with different kinds of, of, of things, like copper and other things are measured in, in that standard. But troy ounces are done. I'm not sure why they decided to do that or why there's a difference, but there is. But yes, indeed. There's no 1816 Eagle style. You got to watch that video, Kendall Kid, to understand what it's about. FEMA is preparing to slaughter the entire population. Buy those supplements and save yourself. That's right. Exactly right. Alex Jones, Silverholic. Silverholic says, oh my goodness, 17% to 40% premiums. Never pay that for gold. Buy gold a spot. We're up to 6% locally. Don't support the online dealerships with their insane premiums. Precious metals are an investment. In a wealth preservation, you can preserve your wealth if you take 40% hit up front. But some people don't have the luxury of buying from LCSs, so that's the only thing. But you're right, for sure, if you can find it. Uh, but if you have to drive two hours to get it, it's not worth it. you got to go online. DM says, long-time listener here, first-time caller. You literally made a video on a coin I saw locally and had no real idea on. You showed me enough. And that coin now sits in my stack. Thank you, sir. Subbed for the long haul. Thank you, DM. I really appreciate that, my friend. Very kind. You know, usually these uh, first-time commenters, their first comments are negative. Um, and so it's good to get a first-time commenter that's actually positive once in a while. Very good. Let's see what the markets are doing with all this goodness going on around here. Absolutely nothing. They're pretty much laying flat here, guys. Insane in the membrane. Getting along flat, going along flat here. Let's take a look at the charts since they've been going flat. Go look at that. Just kind of squiggly there, hovering just slightly below. Not a lot of activity there. And silver, pretty much the same thing. Look at that. Squiggly diggly, like Squidward. Squidward. There we go. Hmm. Lori, I know I was new to gold and silver about a month ago. Um, bought both. If I'm thinking about doing this, I bet a whole lot more are starting to have started to do the same. Yes. Well, very good. Well, Lori, so glad to have you as a viewer. And congratulations on stacking gold and silver for sure. And you're right. If more people like you get on board, then we will see the medals go up for sure. Thank you, Lori. I appreciate you. Our Parnock says... But if I round up my bills based off this nonsense shortage, I probably won't notice the inflation rate for a while. That's true. Good point. Hey, okay. Very, very good. So I'll have a question. Why presidents check how much gold is in Fort Knox? Why presidents check how much gold is in Fort Knox? Um, you say, why do they? Well, Trump did through his secretary of the Treasury, Stephen Mnuchin. But I think somebody in each administration, at least for a while, have done that. But anyways, but they should. They should, they should audit them, I think. They should audit. Tony Spain Hour. Where all of a sudden did the coins go we were using for the last 200 plus years? Where they all melted down? No. Really, the idea, the correct way is it's not a coin shortage. It's a coin circulation problem. Um. Somebody else made that point. I might even do a reference video, a, a, a video on it to kind of clarify that because it's really not a short. It's a shortage for the for the uh, places that that want to give you change, but that's about it. All right, I be Goliath. I picked up five two point five pesos for four percent over spot uh, from LCS. Very good, nice deal. Good job. Great news. Congratulations on selling us as Coin Group of Minnesota. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Sterling Cannabis, you have all of these you want. Not my jam. Nobody makes anything as cool as U.S. Constitutional. I don't even want the numismatic. Give me stuff of my youth. There you go. Sterling Cannabis. All right. All right. Very good. All right. Hey, thank you so much, Spectacular. Appreciate that. He says give the thumbs up. Um, and you guys definitely check out Spectacular's channel. He does some great lives too. Yes, indeed. And posts some great videos. And he's one of those that 
that man, when he posts a video, he gets the views. A lot of people love Spectacular and his great personality and great knowledge on precious metals out there for sure. All right. Very good. Good deal. Thank you, Sterling Cannabis. So move on back. Let's take a look here uh, quickly after this comment. I got visitors today, although 20 feet away. It was good to see them. Maybe California will get its hat together soon. Oh, yeah, Slurp. Very good. Well, congratulations. We got to see some people at Slurp. All right, 15 minutes to the South Sunday night market. Watch it, but I watch the video and leave a comment. That's right, Glenn D. We're here, and you got it just in time. We got your comment in. Look at that. JDO, platinum rounds are different from the silver design by the subtraction of the red lines on the kangaroo side and the queen sides are on the outside in addition to the word silver or platinum word. That's true. I might even do a comparison video on that. That is a difference for sure. Thank you. Very good. All right. Marshall Hell says, those dose pesos are fantastic. I may have to look into possibly getting one. Yes, it's a low premium typically on that. Good stuff. Very good. All right, this looks like another spam. Forex, yes, because I don't recognize any of these guys here. And uh, so that's, even though there's a link there, it's got you curious. So that is a spam comment. They're very, very tricky how they do it. They get you interested by having a lot of comments so you inquire, and somewhere down here is going to be a person of contact or whatever. They want you to look up this Marcus Aquardo or whatever, but it's all a scam. It's all a scam. Uperman, those are some nice coins, Sal. I would buy them if I had the money and found them available at the same time. Yes, indeed. I hear you, brother. Let's look at the web for that comment to delete. What are the markets doing? They are, well, they're down. Pretty much the same as it's been all night. But they're only down slightly. I think we're gonna, they're going to pop back out. I think they're going to pop back out. You know what I mean? Kind of like my nipples on a cold day. Ah, very good. We have 150 thumbs up now, guys. Thank you so much. And only 124 watching. Appreciate you guys. All right, let's see. Uperman, those are some nice coins out. I should buy them if I had the money and I found them available at the same time. Yep, all right, good. Read his comment twice. Very, very good. All right, so that's let's refresh this now because I think we're going to get some comments from the 1816 video. For those of you new just joining us, this video, 1816 American Silver Eagle is an oldie that I did quite a while ago, but I forgot about it. You guys, I'm curious to see what you guys think about this video. Um, 1816 American Silver Eagle. Who would have guessed it? You know what I'm saying? All right, where are we going? Let's get back up here. Glendy, thanks, Sal. Now I want Mexican fractional gold pesos. Yes, I hope you can find some soon. Kuna coins, they might be the best weight to try to sell those, but wait till you try to sell those. Um, well, you know, the thing is, I think they're fairly liquid. I think they are. Silver Valley coins of bullions, I'm not ready to retire yet. Uh, but ready to sell when the price right, I say I won't be sentimental, but I'm sure there will be some pieces I'm going to have a hard time saying goodbye to. As for the hobby, I have no regrets, but I'm feeling a little burnt out after doing it for so many years. I'm sure other stackers are feeling the same way. Yeah, it's understandable. I'm kind of burnt out on some of the collector coins out there for sure, and I think that's why I've, one reason why I moved to gold too. Garmin says, excellent video, Sal. Thank you so much, my friend, on the best value in fractional gold video. Sean Oliver says... I have a lot of two and two and a half pesos as a coin dealer. The premiums are higher in the UK, but if they sell very well, I hazard a guess to say I've sold about over 50 of each since I became a dealer. Funny you put a video about it, and the pesos I'm getting for the whole family on Tuesday, and we'll be making a video about it. All right, very good. Awesome, Sean. Very nice indeed. Okay, so this, guys, um, Anthony G. We haven't seen Anthony G in a while. Very cool. I didn't realize Chuck was liquidating silver as I haven't watched uh, many videos lately because of work. I have the utmost respect for Chuck and he's been a great part of the community. One thing I'll always remember about Chuck is he told me a great story about a few years ago about how he bartered with silver. People throw that concept around in theory, but Chuck actually did barter for silver, which I thought was pretty cool. Yes, indeed. Thanks, Anthony G. Great guy, by the way, he is. All right. K98 Killer. I have checked out the gold peso coins over the years and I have Never actually found a decent price on them that I was in stock. For the most part, I found it easier to get gold francs at a lower premium than most anything else. Well, very good. 
Some people have different experiences. It depends on the area. But overall, these are a good bargain. If you, but you might have to shop around for them more. Sometimes even online. Very good. Okay. Sure is a dirty dime. I would have expected at least an MS-70. Yeah, it is a dirty dime. I'm sorry. I just It was the one that I had handy here. So I thought I'd put that dirty dime on there. All right. Fiscal deficit spending will drive inflation in the 2020s. In the 2010s, we mainly had uh, CBQE, but limited fiscal deficits. Hence, I expect a real bull run in PMs. As this time, the currencies get based on hyperinflation from fiscal deficit spending. Yes. Indeed. All right. Thank you, James. Sal, that is so nice of you. Thank you. Well, it's so nice of you guys to step up and buy this silver. I think you got a good deal on it. Justin Sartain, watch this video on the 1816 American Silver Eagle. Yes, this is a video. All you have to do is go to my channel and search my videos for this 1816 American Silver Eagle video. I forgot about this when somebody posted a comment on it. And uh, it's a pretty interesting. Yes, 1816, believe it or not, Silver Eagle. Where can I get one, Medium Man wonders? Good luck. Might be able to get one from China. We shall see. Barbara Carbone is home. Well, Barbara, we're getting people to watch... Here's a slurp for Barbara real quick as I talk about the 1816 American Silver Eagle video that I did quite some time ago. If you get a chance to check it out, Barbara, if you search my videos for 1816 American Silver Eagle, it'll pop right up. Ghost Punk says, wow, what a crappy old coin. Not so old. That's right. Exactly. Hard to believe. Crazy. I think I got it around here somewhere still, but not anywhere. Le Petit Silver, I just watched and gave it a thumbs up. Thank you, Le Petit. Appreciate that. All right. I'm just too busy to talk about my peso. Sorry, yes, I don't know. Anybody talking to me? All right. And the Uperman just came by from the live chat. Thanks, Uperman. Thank you. Let me know you were here. Nice. All right. Came in for the live show. S-C-L-D-E-F-22. Thank you. I think what I might do, this is an idea. I might start doing this. Um, I might pick an older video from my uh, channel. And on each live stream, I might feature that video for you guys to check out from the old, from the past. You know what I'm saying? An oldie but a goodie. Yeah, and it may not even be necessarily a goodie, but it'll be an oldie. Yes, indeed. Yes, there you go, Carlos Danger. That's great. Oh, that's funny. I'm cracking up laughing at that one. He says, my 1816 project is more truthful than the 1619 project. True that. That pretty much goes for anything. Says, that's exactly right, Carlos Danger. There is, there is actually something called the 1776 project by an, a real civil rights leader. Um, uh, and uh, you guys should check that out. The 1776 project. It's based off of real truth. Yes, indeed. All right. Moving on up, Stephen Miranda says, just watch this video from the stream. Maybe the Matrix is breaking apart right now. Will the silver spike? Very well could, Stephen. Thank you for checking out the video, my friend. There you go. Uh, be typo, because of the silver spike. Oh, because of the spill. Okay, very good. Thank you, Stephen. You're the man faker than Terry O's face. Oh, my goodness. Oh, her online face, her profile picture, avatar. Get your mind out of the gutter. There we go. All right. For that's right. For Terry, 79. She's got a halo. She's got a red halo. Just watch after coming from the live stream, says Jess TK50. First, thank you so much for doing that. Yes, I think that's going to be a new feature for the live streams now. And we're going to find an, an oldie, an old video you guys check out. DW is here. Good to see you. Uh, are you stacking the deck? Yeah, DW, it's a revolving audience. And I actually have been pumping up the thumbs up for people. Uh, and other people too, so I appreciate you guys. These are actually been revolving thumbs up uh, over the course of the evening. Thank you, guys. Those who bully are cowards says, what's up? Thank you. And a tricky guy says, I'm such a professional lurker. Even I even found this video by listening to you say the title. Can't do the chat room right now, but wanted to butt in. Well, thank you, Tricky Guy. Look at that. He makes an appearance here on this video, and he's listening. He's lurking. He's a professional lurker staying quiet in the shadows. He's one of these 114 viewers. Listen to that. That is not the 1816 American Silver Eagle. It's not. It's not. 
All right, very good. DW has assumed that. There you go. That's right. Hello, Coins A to Z. Coins A to Z, we're trying to get people. It's not me. It's all you guys that are doing it. I'm just doing it what the demand, the public says. I'm trying to pump out an old video, Coins A to Z. You might find it interesting. It's called the 1816 American Silver Eagle. And this video here is pretty interesting. Voga says, you sent me, Sal. What a cool video. CCT is one of my favorite channels. Oh, I am even mentioned CCT in this video. Cool. Thank you. Electro Pig von Fickenkruven. I heard about it late, but it's okay. I found out that 2017 was not the first time they ever released a 10-ounce Maple Leaf. I was pissed. Turns out the first came out as one of those one-off 10th anniversary issue in 1988. Of course, now I've got to find another one to complete it now. Known to be incomplete third set. Yes, I did not know that either. Wow. Be cool to get all those coins together. We got a lot of help for reviews here. Well, there's nothing in there. Let's get back here. We are going to... Ah, here we go. I'll watch it later, Sal. All right, thank you, Donald. I want Donald to watch this. Yes, indeed. I demand it. I demand Donald to watch it. I demand it. I demand it. I'm going crazy over here. Whoops, here I am again. How did this happen to anyone else? I don't know. You made it. The 1816 American Silver Eagle video. Yes, indeed. Public requests silver to go up. Let's see what the markets are doing. Is silver going up? No, it's still down one cent. And gold is down $1.40. Man, crazy times here. That's Red Green to fill in for me. I wish I could. I still have not checked him out or them out or whatever. <clears throat> know what a pinup girl is? Yes, I do. I know Gary Coover. What they used to do is they used to, <clears throat> in the nightclubs, they used to take a girl and pin her up to a dartboard. And they would throw darts at her, just, just right above her, around her, to show their skills. That's a pinup girl. They literally pin her up in the wall for that. That's exactly what that is. I know my stuff. Yes, you're right. All right. Very, very good. So that's where we're at, guys. The video of the day. This is the first in a new series. To kind of excite things up a little bit in the chat is we're going to feature an old video for you guys to check out here. Ghost Punk. We could keep him going all night. That's right, Ghost Punk. Good grief, look at that. You guys are keeping me going here. It's insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. My wife said you sound like a pirate. Argy says cachet cats. I sound like a piratey. There you go. Oh, man. Thanks for letting the cat out of the bag. Man, good grief. I need to actually do that. I need to do that. Get the cat out of the bag sometime. All right, very good. Pin the tail on Sal. There you go. <laughs> Pin the tail. All right, everybody, breaking news. Did you know that in cyberspace, no one can hear the chat room text? Yet, by my magnificent telepathic power, I knew I'd be summoned here, but now I go again. Here today and gone today. It's a tricky guy. Yes, indeed. Congratulations on a job well done. <laughs> ah, slurp for Barbara Carbone. That video is open another tab. I'll watch it after stream. Thank you, Silverholic. I appreciate it. All right. Yes, I'm not meaning for you guys to have to actually watch the video now. But I uh, appreciate it. It's a little bit fun to have these comments going. We're going to refresh these comments one more time before we do the bum rush for the night. And uh, so that's where we finished it up. What are the markets doing right now? They're all down. They've not moved much at all. Crazy. Check out Red Green after the stream. You won't regret it. Okay, Red Green after the stream. I'll look at that. I need to keep remember forgetting to do that. I forgot to do it. All right. Red Green. I'll do that. All right, guys. Ah, I am going to say good night now. Well, we've been on for quite a while. A multitude of gratitude. gratitude, And again, I probably won't be here next Sunday night. Uh, so I do apologize for that. Um, but uh, nonetheless, for the next, you know how I do like to let these market watches, but very rarely. I do prioritize YouTube, but sometimes things come along that um, can uh, uh, that I can't change the schedule on and there's something coming next sunday that i'm pretty sure i won't be able to make it here so just a little fyi thank you all again a multitude of gratitude you guys are great yes we were missing pamela rice too we do miss pam she posted a live stream uh last saturday uh, this past friday night so check out pamela's channel uh thank you so much thank you candle kid thank you all thank you bad cat thank you so much bad you guys are great. A multitude of gratitude to you all. Have a good night. Keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the